Hello and welcome to Nana's Story Garden. I love to read and I love reading to you. And th today we're going to read Guess How Much I Love You. It's written by Sam McBratney and illustrated by Anita Jaram. And it's a really beautiful story about little nut brown hair and big nut brown hair. Little nut brown hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to big nut brown hair's ears. And he said he wanted to be sure that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said Big Nut Brown Hair. Isn't that a beautiful illustration of the trees? So Little Nut Brown Hair said, Oh, I love you this much, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. But Big Nut Brown Hair had even longer arms but I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you as high as I can reach, said Little Nut Brown Hair. Oh, I love you as high as I can reach, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very high, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I had arms like that. Then Little Nut Brown Hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached the tree trunk with his feet. It's fun to tumble sometimes, isn't it? I love you all the way up to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him up and over his head. That's fun sometimes, isn't it? I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down. It's fun to bounce up and down too, isn't it? But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair. And he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. It's that tree again. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. See the river flowing through the hills? I love you across the river and over the hills, said Big Nut Brown Hair. So he thought he loved as much as hopping over the river and through the hills. That's very far, Little Brown Hair thought. He was almost too sleepy to think anymore. He is, sometimes that happens too when you get very, very sleepy. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big night sky. Nothing could be further than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very, very far. Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him good night. That's a lovely feeling, isn't it, at night when we have a good night kiss? Then he lay down beside him and whispered with a smile, I love you, right up to the moon and back. 
And that's a very, very special thing to say. I say that to my daughter every night. That's the story of Guess How Much I Love You. So come back and we'll share another book in Nana's garden, story garden. In her garden called the story garden. Bye-bye.